I'm back. So it's been a while since I did a uh, DSI or 3DS review, hasn't it? So I decided to like do another review this time, as you can already tell by the title. And technically, this is a game that pretty much, in my opinion, just sucks really bad. Every month, I feel like that I should probably do like a like a two DSI and 3DS review videos each month so I can keep up with this with the schedule I'm supposed to be on obviously that's not gonna be with this month because well we're kinda out of time right here so well there's not really that much in January left so yeah anyway today I'm gonna review a game called Transformers Dark of the Moon Decepticons and yeah, the see this movie based DS games like most of them suck. So yeah, I could get the box for the game, but there's too much stuff down in the basement in order to get it. So I guess that's pretty much it for this intro, huh? Alright, I'll be right back. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, I got, um, Transformers 3 Decepticons in there. And, um, this is what the icon looks like. There's a good representation of it up there. And I'm sorry about the glare in the way on the DS screen. I mean, that's not like that in, in real life. Which I really don't get. Anyway, let's start this terrible game. Because it's just terrible. I'm sorry if I sound tired. Licensed by Nintendo, okay. Jesus, look at that copyright screen. Okay, behavior the same company that made the rest of the Wipeout games. Hasbro, Paramount. Okay. Well then, well, th actually these are some impressive graphics for the DS right here. But that's like the only thing that is good about this game. You just, you'll just see how bad it is. Oh wait. As you can already tell, music isn't that great because um, it's a DS game, so. Okay, this is the first level. Okay. Let's see what this is like. Oh god, the graphics look bad already. Oh god! Wait, what? There's no voices? Oh boy. Oh boy. This is already bad. Seriously, the only thing that is good about what's happening right now, right now, is the bottom screen. Seriously, this is why, this is why you don't make 3D DS games. Okay, you know what? I'll just, I'll just skip this. I don't need to watch this. Okay, so for a game like this, I would rather use this. Because it's much easier. Wait. Stay still. Okay. So that's what those buttons do. Is 
Press the Y button to fire your primary weapon. Now, is there any enemies around here? Oh, there is. And it auto aims for you. Moving while shooting decreases your position. Okay. Press the X button to fire your secondary weapon. Well, where's the enemies at? Okay. Um, this is like barely even. Where's the enemy at? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Finally. Jesus. On the map, the arrow represents you. Okay. The bright line leads to your main objective. And the dots are your enemies. Seriously? Do you have to tell me this now when there's enemies? Okay, so what do the yellow... Destroy the chimney. I'm not throwing anything. Oh. Oh, uh, yes, obviously the B button has to be jumped. Like it's an Xbox 360 game. Oh, boy. What the hell is this? Okay, that's the transform. How do you... Where... What? It said... Oh my gosh. So it's not going to tell me the objective again. Just crack my hand. Okay. My aim is off point. This is an upgrade slot. There's nothing even there. Oh. 
There's nothing even there. Touch the shield to use the vehicle form. You mean that? You don't have to really... You don't really have to press the beat button to accelerate because you just start moving. Can you run over them? Move this up a little bit. Oh, uh, more. Uh, hello. No. Oh my God. Uh, um. Jesus, this is like, this is like the worst. What? Come on. What? My aim is off point. Oh, we can finally go through that area now? Gee, thanks. What was the point of that? It's like these people are like trying to make an attempt of a Call of Duty game. Except Transformer style, but it sucked. Wow, he wasn't even doing anything. about this game. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I know what you guys may be like. Mr. Director, I know you like the game. I really don't like the game, personally. I think it sucks really bad. So, yeah. I guess Transformers Dark of the Moon Decepticons is crap. You know? It's crap. Now, I have actually heard of the 3DS version before. You can't even transform in that game. Okay? Too bad I don't have that ver No, it's good that I don't have that version. Because if I actually did, I would already start talking crap about that game. Because you can't transform in it. You're only driving as a car. See, this game is actually better than the 3DS version. But still, this is actually pretty bad. Um... So yeah, like there's only like some DS games, not 3DS, but DS games that are actually that are that have 3D graphics that are actually good. 3D 3DS games are like like the, they're all of them have 3D graphics. Well, not all of them, but like most of them do, and the 3D is like coming at your face. Um, but like DS games, like. Yeah, there's only some DS games with 3D graphics that are good, but a lot of them are terrible, like this one. So, and this is a movie-based game as well. So, yeah, so, like, 
Alright, well, you know what I'm gonna do with this? I'm, I'm gonna do this. There. That's what we do with this. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for this review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Probably didn't like it anyway, because, like, I could already see a bunch of thumb da thumbs down coming. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm tired. I just, like, like I got up at almost 11 today, so. Anyway, yeah, this is Mr. Director 8 Sonic. You stupid. No, I'm not. What's 9 plus 10? 12. You stupid. No! The blue shot! Waluigi!